finally I can make some update on this battery which uses alkaline and acid based electrolyte and these two electrolytes are separated by some agar gel membrane. So like I said before, finally I can make some update on this cell which uses this agar gel membrane and actually this kind of membrane works for 5 days. So on another side I'm really really excited because uh, some really basic agar gel membrane works for 5 days in this alkaline and acid based uh, environment. Uh, but on another side I was hoping that this kind of membrane will work a little bit longer. But yeah, like I said, the membrane lasts for 5 days and the problems which I get after 5 days was that on the negative side the electrolyte turned into um, a little bit uh, brownish color. Uh, so the negative side of the cell was filled with some potassium hydroxide electrolyte. Uh, the next problem which I also get was that uh, the top area of the membrane which was over here was exposed to the open air. And actually if you leave this kind of agar gel membrane uh, sitting on some open air uh, then the membrane will harden and will also crack and this also happens in this cell but on the positive side of the cell where I use two mole of sulfuric acid I don't get any problems the electrolyte was clear uh, and also the surface of uh, the agar membrane was without any changes which is really good and for this reason, if you make some cell uh, and you will use some agar membranes, uh, then I recommend that you use some uh, neutral or some milk acid uh, based electrolytes. For example, some, I don't know, one to two mole of uh, zinc sulfate, uh, zinc chloride, um, manganese sulfate, ammonium chloride and so on. So all these electrolytes will work with this agar gel membrane. And now in this video I will make another cell which also uses agar gel membrane but with some small changes. So the first change which I will make will be I will replace this kind of basic agar gel membrane with this. So here I have um, some agar gel membrane which is way way more stronger like this one. You see? Because the agar gel I impregnate into this bamboo uh, fiber cloth. And this way I get way, way, way more stronger uh, membrane. So this kind of membrane will not crack so easily. Uh, and the next uh, change which I will make, I will replace uh, the negative electrolyte. So uh, on the first cell I use two mole of potassium hydroxide electrolyte. And now I will use only one mole of sodium hydroxide. In basic I can also replace uh, the sodium hydroxide with some uh, neutral electrolytes but in this case uh, the pH difference will not be so high and for this reason I will also not get this high voltage which I can get with some acid and uh, strong alkaline uh, setup. And now I will put together this new cell.
So this will be the negative side and this will be the positive. So on the positive side I will fill with two more of sulfuric acid. Okay. And to the negative side I will fill with one mole of sodium hydroxide. The positive electrode is simply made by manganese dioxide powder uh, and a little bit of uh, activated carbon felt around this graphite uh, plate. And here I have some zinc for the negative electrode. And now let's check what will be the voltage of this cell. 2.24 volts really nice oh yeah really nice and now what I will do will be the same like I do on my previous cell so this cell I will leave uh, for a couple of days uh, to see if I will get this crossover of the electrolytes.